Yeah, what are you thinking when you notice the title, The Fishing Adventure? What are you thinking when you hear that? Adventure? I really think it's about, like, when, when you fish adventure, how cool it is. Okay. You know, when he goes on an adventure, that means he's going to go out in the open, he's going to try to fish, he's going to experience some things. So when you're on an adventure, you kind of experience things, okay? And his experience is going to be with fishing, okay? So our character is little penguin and baby, characters are little penguin and baby seal. Okay. Little penguin and... Yeah, little penguin and baby seal. Little and if you notice in this story, they're going to be talking to each other quite a bit. Where does the author show us that they're talking on this page? Like Where do you know? How do you know that? What is because he? Because it has tax marks. Yeah, those are quotation marks, aren't they? So you can see all through this book that they are going to be talking about that fishing adventure. Oh, what do you? They caught a fish. Mm, do you think they caught it? Mm -hmm. We'll have to see. There's always kind of a problem or an event, and that is something has something to do with catching a fish, right? Ooh, that's <laughs> that. That one looks like it's sad. <laughs> that fish does? Yeah, it looks kind of big too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. What do you notice in this picture it's that smiling. might help us? He's smiling now. Yeah, what else do you notice about characters? There's um, um, Grandpa Seal, I think that's what his name is. Mm. Um, what do you think those animals are? Polar bears and walruses. Yeah, so we have some new characters in our story that are helping with the fishing adventure. Grandpa and... What are they doing on this page? Yeah. Um, they're helping them pull it out. Yeah, so do you think there's a little bit of a problem in this story? Yeah. Trying to get that great big fish? Oh my goodness, oh my then God, who it's... comes? Um, the fish. Yeah, do you think they get the fish? Yeah. Let's read to find out if they get that Whoa. fish. What? Why is there a kid? You know, that's a good question. There's just a little play at the end of the book that we can do when we're finished reading, okay? Do you even have all that stuff? All right, so, oh, all the stuff for the play? Yeah. I'm not sure, we'll have to find out. All right, so the little, the fishing adventure. Little penguin and baby seal went down the, to, down to the sea to catch fish. Little penguin had a, Big fishing pool. I can catch great big fish. What with this great big fishing pool? Said little. Penguin. Let's read and see if they find a great big fish. Little penguin. Pushed. And. With. Try that again. Little penguin pushed and not and. You know what you're doing right now? You're self monitoring. You know something's not right. What are you thinking's not right? That um, I can't really talk about it. What are you thinking? 
not sounding right. Yeah, it's not the word pushed, is it? So try it again. Little penguin. And you're putting your finger underneath there, which is good. What do you think it might be? Try it. A word on the hook. Then he I'm going to have you think fish. about this. Oh. Yep. Fish and fish. What were you thinking there when you were solving that? How did you solve that? That looking at the You looked at the picture? Yeah, the other thing you can do is think about the story. Think about what little penguin was doing. He's, he's fishing, right? It's a fishing adventure, right? All right, let's see what the fish does. A fish came up. <laughs> that is a big fish, isn't it? Why is she growing? I don't know. Let's find out. Little penguin pulled and pulled one. Oh no, the fish is too big. What are you thinking there? That's too big to carry. Yeah. <laughs> And he can't get it out of the water, can he? Yeah. Let's see what little penguin does. Maybe I can help, said baby. Baby seal. Little penguin and baby seal. Um, Old and cold. <laughs> Yet a cold and cold and cold. What are you smiling about? <laughs> it only says cold. Yeah, they keep pulling, don't they? That fish is pretty what? heavy and big, right? Let's see what the two do to get it out. This fish is a great big fish, said baby bear, baby <laughs> seal. This fish is too big for us. Try that again. It's too big. Too big for us. Yeah, now it looks right. All right, let's see what little penguin says. Help, called little penguin. Help, 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 called baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. Bear. Oh, bear.
use that to help you. Right here. What if I would ask you to think about what the polar bear might be saying about what's happening in the story, what the character might be saying? What might the character be saying there based on what's happened in the story? What are you thinking? I'm thinking that I can't really think about it and um, that I don't really know the word. Okay. What does it start with? What letter does it start with? D. D. Yeah, you were using a B, right? So let's... Polar Bear, Mrs. Polar Bear is saying, Oh, dear. Dear, said Mrs. Polar Bear. Miss Little Penguin and Baby Panther, Baby Eel, are in trouble. Oh boy. Little Penguin and Baby Eel are in trouble. Are you trying to think of what that animal is? Yeah, I'm trying, trying to think. <laughs> it's not a whale, is it? What is it? Grandpa walrus. That's a walrus, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to read this for you and ask you to think about this. Because it's really important to think about how the author uses punctuation to help us read, okay? And this is a good place to, to show you. Little penguin and baby seal are in trouble? Because they're asking a question. Again? Oh dear, said Grandpa Walrus. So he's asking a question here, so we want to read it like a question. And again? So these guys have already, are, that tells us they've been in trouble before, right? Yes. Now they're in trouble again. No, no, I know why. Because um, in Mrs. Jenkins' room, it was a storm, and they were in trouble because um, they got out of their house. Yeah, so they, you've read another one of these books, haven't you, about these characters? All right, let's see what Miss Polar Bear and Walrus do to help. Mrs. Polar Bear and her Grandpa... Wait, that's not Grandpa. It is. Yeah. But there's no B. There's not a B. There is. Okay. Is Grandpa Walrus one of our characters? Yeah, so that's Grandpa Walrus. So just think about our characters and not worry about what it looks like. We know our characters are Mrs. Polar Bear and Grandpa Wal Walrus, right? Grandpa Let's see Walrus. what they do.
are you are you lost are you not sure where you are so what do you do as a reader when you're lost or what strategy could you use when you get lost i could reread reread and then it's okay to bring your finger in honey okay so bring your finger in to help you look said little penguin Is this the word O or on? On. So try it with that. I have a great big fish on my hook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one of the th one of the strategies that you know is to reread, and when it gets confusing and unsure, you might need to go back and reread it and make sure that you read those words correctly because once you knew it was on, that makes more sense, right? He has a great big fish on that hook and he needs help, right? The fish is too big for us, Baby Seal told Mrs. Polar Bear and Grandpa Walrus. And let's see what Little Penguin does now. Little Penguin pulled and Baby Seal pulled and Mrs. Bear pulled and Grandpa Walrus pulled on off out of the water. Come and get come So there's one of those times again where it got a little jumbly in your head, right? So find a spot that you would go and reread. And Grandpa Wallace pulled. Yeah, he sure did. Off of the, out of the water. that sound right? A great. Yeah, come so out of the water come a great big fish or a came a great big fish. Which one sounds right? A came, right? It came. So that one sounds right. Alright, I'm going to have to stop.